What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics, and today we got a reaction to the group The Weaker Thans and their song, Plea from a Cat Named Vertute, brought to us by our patron and supporter of the channel, Johnny. I know Trey did a reaction to Walks a Hatchy song that was really good from Johnny last month, so I thought I would jump in and handle this one, which has quite an interesting story to it. Johnny says, this is the first of a trio of songs from the band's lead singer and songwriter, John Sampson, all written from the perspective of his cat, Vertute. And John had a little bit to say about this. Uh, Vertute's name means strength in Latin. The, in an interview, he reveals that the cat is actually fictional. Yeah, I feel a bit bad when I tell people that Vertute doesn't exist. She's a composite of several cats I knew and loved. Uh, gotta say, I've never reacted to a song that was written from the perspective of a cat, so I look forward to it. Thanks again, Johnny. Don't you ever want to play? I'm tired of this piece of string. You sleep as much as I do now, and you don't eat much of anything. I don't know who you're talking to. I made a search through every room, but all I found was dust that moved in the shadows of the afternoon. And listen. songs you sing should open up the house invite the tabby two doors down you could ask your sister if she doesn't bring her basset hound ask the things you shouldn't miss tape hiss in the modern man the cold war and card catalogs to come and join us if they can shout out to card catalogs early drinks and parlor games around the easy life of absolutely no regrets and later maybe you could try to let your losses dangle off the sharp edge of a century talk about the weather or how the weather used to be and I'll cater with all the birds that I can kill The Weaker Thans, Plea from a Cat Named Vertute. What a track, man. A little bit about The Weaker Thans. I didn't cover it at the start because I wanted to kind of cover the subject of the song. They're an award-winning, Juno-nominated Canadian indie rock band from Winnipeg. They put out 
four albums. This was so intelligently done. First of all, the instrumentation was banging, man. It's a song from 2003. I didn't even cover that either from Reconstruction Site, the, the album Reconstruction Site. Sounds very early 2000s in a very good way. But you learn really early on, it's interesting, because the cat is seeing its owner, who's, who's John, the guy that wrote the song, seeing John Sampson in, in the light that no one else sees him in, right? Because he's alone, so he's being his true self. And, you know, they always say we don't tro- show our true self to anyone. Uh, so he is, the, the cat is actually seeing this. Vertute is actually seeing this. So he starts out, why don't you ever want to play? I'm tired of this piece of string. You sleep as much as I do now, and you don't eat much of anything. So I think, I think John's falling on hard times, maybe a little bit depressed. I don't know who you're talking to. I made a search through every room, but all I found was dust that moved in shadows of the afternoon. So that tells that first verse tells you so much, right? It's really, really clever songwriting because it tells you that he's sleeping a lot. He's not eating much. He must be depressed. He's talking as, as we do. We talk to ourselves. I, I talk to this camera all day long. I'm talking to myself in a way, but I'm talking to all of you. All I found when he went, he said, I made a search through every room, but all I found was dust that moved. So rooms maybe that hadn't been gone into, things maybe aren't really being kept up. Uh, and listen, the course, and listen about those bitter songs you sing. They're not helping anything. They won't make you strong. So is he wallowing in his own depression and listening to the depressing songs? Because we all do that sometimes, right? We're in a down mood, so we listen to things that make us feel even worse. So he's telling him we should open up the house and, and kind of get after it. He wants to invite over the tabby cat that his cat does. And, you know, ask the things, ask the things you shouldn't miss. Tape hiss and the modern man, the Cold War and card catalogs. Hey, boys and girls, we used to have to learn all about the Dewey Decimal System and card catalogs. If you're of a, not of a certain age, you're like, what are you even talking about? Don't worry about it because it doesn't matter. And that's what the cat is trying to tell John. That stuff is gone for a reason. It doesn't matter. The outro, all you ever want to do is drink and watch TV. And frankly, that thing doesn't really interest me. I swear I'm going to bite you hard and taste your tenny blood. If you don't stop the self-defeating lies, you've been repeating since the day you brought me home. I know you're strong. Listen, uh, Vertute believes in John, even if he doesn't believe in himself. So quite the clever song. I saw there was a cover of this done by Frank Turner, another independent off-the-radar guy that I really enjoy that we got some stuff on. So I'm going to go listen to his version when I'm done with this. But thank you, Johnny. A great offering. I got to admit, when I read the description, I'm like, man, I don't know how this is going to be. I don't know. I got to check this out. It's actually brilliant, brilliant songwriting. All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining us. If you are to support us in a way like Johnny does, check out the Patreon link below or the Patreon link on the end screen. Uh, and I will also put a video there that you may enjoy. Until next time, guys, I will see you. Bye.